Good evening, family. I know, almost midnight, but praise the Lord, we made it. We made it. Amen. Had a long day today. I had to be at work at 6 a.m. this morning, so I was up by 5, and and I didn't get off till 6.45 this evening. So I just came home and relaxed, and now here I am. Amen. Our reading for today is from the little book, Jesus Always. And our lesson for today for April the 7th is, I give eternal life to you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, family. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord, and bless your name for keeping us throughout the day. We want to thank you, Lord, for being our strength. We want to thank you, Lord, for being our source of joy. And Lord, even in the midst of adverse circumstances in any one of our lives at any given time, Lord. You are who we can hold on to. So, Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for being that hold-on situation, person in our life, that we can trust you with all things concerning us. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Amen. Good evening, family. April the 7th, I give eternal life to you. Sorry about the glare, family. Um, I give eternal life to you, and you will never perish. No one will snatch you out of my hand. This is astonishingly good news for all who know me as Savior. Your promised inheritance is far more glorious than anything you can imagine. The gift of eternal life provides a light, sorry, that shines on you, even in the darkest days. So let this brightness beckon you onward protecting you from discouragement. Refuse to let hard circumstances or the wickedness of this world drag you down. Instead, look ahead to glory. Amen. The glory that awaits you. See it sparkling in the distance just beyond the horizon. Amen. You may have to go through some deep waters on your journey, but remember, I will be with you when you pass through these waters. That's our song, family. Amen. Amen. They will not sweep over you. Keep holding on to my hand and trusting dependence, confident that I love you and nothing will be able to separate you from me. Rather than dreading the challenging times ahead of you, Seek to enjoy the adventures of journeying with me through your life. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from the New Testament, John chapter 10, verses 27 through 28. And it reads, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Amen. Amen. Our second scripture lesson is again from the New Testament. It's 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, and it reads, Praise be to the, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. Amen. Our next scripture is Isaiah 43, 43 verse 2. It says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, 
you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Hallelujah. And lastly, again, this is from the New Testament. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, hallelujah, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Abba Father, thank you so much, Lord, for the encouraging words in the reading, and also, Lord, for the promises, Lord, in the scriptures, Lord. Thank you for the Old Testament. Thank you for the New Testament. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with understanding, Lord. And Father, as you continually knock on the door to our heart, oh, Lord, may we let you come in. Father, so that your spirit can teach us, dear God. And Lord, so that we will learn to trust you with all things concerning us and not to be fearful of at anything. Thank you once more, Lord, for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Good evening, family. Good afternoon or good night. Our song for this evening, um, When Thou Passest Through the Water. That's our song. I'm going to attach it to the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I pray that each one of us will have a blessed night's rest. And I know that sometimes things can change in an instant overnight in all of our lives. But by God's grace, um, he gives us the strength, even through adversity. Just like we're able to praise him when we are overjoyed and our hearts are just running over with the goodness of God. The same thing is possible. Even though your heart may be in a state of brokenness, you can still find rest and peace in the Lord, and you can have that joy that passes understanding. I know some of us, and I know myself, I've been through adversity, but I have been able to smile because of the love of God. So blessings and healing to us all, family. Good night. Good morning or good evening, wherever you are. Have a blessed and wonderful day. This is Miss Norma signing off, and I'm almost at eight minutes, so I'm going to speed it up. Good night, family. I love you. And just remember that the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.